Hey everybody, how's it going? Geology 351 from the field. And these are some beautiful basaltic columns in the Drumheller Channels near the little town of Othello, Washington. It's a favorite place of mine, and uh, maybe you want to come out here on your own and check out this beautiful place. It's public land. Uh, if you go to Google Maps, you can find a location that uh, I think it says Crab Creek Marsh Unit Number 3. That's a little gravel parking lot along Crab Creek, which threads its way through the Drumheller Channels, and within 10 minute walk, you can get to this flow here. I'm gonna meet my friends out here in a few minutes, and we're gonna take a walk together. And if you saw our first Old Vantage Road uh, episode from the field, these are not live streams, of course, and uh, it's not a, a super big teaching experience either. Uh, you're not getting uh, all sorts of nuts and bolts from the geology course. Instead, you're just kind of joining us on a nice walk. Uh, this is an optional hike, and uh, most of the friends are, are joining us for these opportunities. So, hope you enjoy being with us. We're going to go up on top of these columns and do a few other things as well. Bryce, kiss it again. <laughs> oh, he really went for it. Bryce, did you do that one with feeling? Oh, did you really? I like rocks all the time. Oh, Bryce. Oh, oh sweet no Bryce. She always gets sad when I go. This is Hank. Five months old. Hi, Hank. How are you? Oh, sweet dog. Yeah, we're excited to get out today. Oh, sure. I agree, Ryan. So, there's a bunch to look at here. Not only the perfect columns, but what else do you notice just observationally about these well, there's, things? There's that, that pitting, you know? Yes. It's like woodpeckers, but, like, you know, it's obviously not the case. Yeah, those, like, triangular things on the corners, like right up above right. Tim. Yep. Well, that's probably just, like, the way that it wedges off my of cross or something, right? Mm, yeah. But it's strange that they're so, like, it's definitely got a similar Yeah. It's definitely got its conchoidal fracture. Conchoidal fracture. Oh, on the face of that, yeah. And then they divide themselves, like they crack in such like, you even know, sizes. even, yeah, even sizes. That's the, that's the spooky thing, isn't it? Just the regularity, especially yes. when we get on top of these, we'll see how uniform these, like, these Tootsie Rolls, you know, they're, yeah. they're all like perfectly... <laughs> The dimensions are just amazingly uniform. So who's good counting? What, 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 how many sides we got on these? Is it, is it, are these all perfect hexagons? No, no, may you never know. Today might be a column faller. I got a car jack. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Have 
looked into Rhett. I almost have a heart attack every time I do. Those columns from below and then we'll go up above as well. That's beautifully done. Is that like a feeder section, Nick, where it's all bent over like that? Uh, I don't think so. I think we've got two sections of the Elephant Mountain here with a little uh, chipped area in between. So I don't know how to explain this, Ryan. I don't think it's a feeder dike, but I see what you're saying now here in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Megan, it's okay. We're going to be down here in the base and then we're coming up. So we'll, we'll be up there in a, in a bit. Either way. So what do you notice here in the Elephant Mountain flow? Is it simple columns from bottom to top? No, no there's the middle section. How do you describe the middle section? Fractured. The middle section does look fractured here right in front of us, but let's follow it from left to right. Hmm. It looks like it's more cemented. We kind of lose the fracture, don't we? Yeah, we do. I don't have an explanation, but it, it, it's always kind of surprised me. Yeah, this is this is the spot that we uh, filmed that two minute, the first two minute geology episode we ever filmed was right here. Before I lost my hammer up on top. Is there a rock hammer somewhere in there? Yeah, we're gonna find the crack where I dropped my hammer. Find your hammer. Oh yeah, we'll find it. On the top, it's different. We lose the columns at the very top. So that's the entablature, which is a, a different cooling story. God dang, this is good looking stuff. Yeah, and the setting of it, right, Hayden? I mean, look at this, man. It's not that we're next to some busy freeway or something. This is, this place looks about like it did thousands of years ago. Oh God. You think they messed up in there? Or? Probably. <laughs> what are those morning star dogs? I don't know. I don't know anything about birds. Now is that what Tim was talking about earlier, like the pinching and folding at the, the base? He's he's really mentally trying to see it, but I don't think it's here. Oh uh, Tim's yeah. right over there. It's 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 not like that Rosa flow. So yeah, there's a little bit of that, but Generally, this is about as perfect as you get with columns. See, there's, there's, they're looking for my hammer up there, so those guys are. Somebody brought a magnet and string. Oh, didn't you bring that, Hayden? No. Oh, damn. I think Okay, we'll see you guys. I'm going up to the top, back the other way. Oh, it's that. Can you get up to the top around this way? 
I'm not sure. Give it a try. It might be a bit of a walk, but give it a try. Okay. Boy, Emma's really dancing up there. Nice. So Andrew, did you say you'd, you've been climbing uh, on this spot here, or, or just had been out mm. wandering a little bit? I climbed a bit on the west side of this thing. On the west side of this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did a little crack climbing. Uh huh. And then that first spot we went. <laughs> The tops of these columns, interesting, kind of the bulbous nature, you know. I don't, I don't understand that part of it. Cool. All right, well, let's find this thing. So I was up here with Tom Foster. We we hauled a ladder out here. He got up on the ladder. We looked and tried to find the best possible crack. Or Pentagon. This is it. I don't know, can you, has anybody got the internet out here? Can we call up the two minute geology episode and see if this is the, I think this, I think this is it. I think we wanted one that, I can't believe I asked you all to get on your phones. That's, okay. that's like, <laughs> you, you got it? It looks like she's got it. You went down in there. You got it. Is that a little problem? Top of a column, top of a column, top of a column. Hello. Beautiful show. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're reacting. So, so Tom was on, yeah. So which side? Yeah, okay. you were sitting on that one right there, and you dropped it off. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I think it just fell off of there. All right. Well, who's got the who's got the magnet? Who's got the string? Who's got the <laughs> The distant, the, oh yes, impossibly large scale. Well, I have that snack. We still get like, I don't know if they're still considered trees, but there's still like cannons and stuff around here. Oh yeah. No, and it and it's it's a maze. You know, the water is kind of zigzagging through here, and so I think in the literature they call this kind of a basin and butte topography. So we, we don't have one large coulee, but you, you know the. If you get into where the old Columbia used to flow over there with the with the Crab Creek scene, that's you know it's coolly shaped. But you're right, yeah. This the maze. Bretts was describing this kind of intricate maze of sight. It's almost like the water's what is it? Almost like a braided stream channel kind of a thing. But it's. So what is, what is, there's really just so much water that all of this would be covered at one time. Yes, I think that's fair to say. Now there's different sized floods coming through, right. so it's not the same and they're volume. They're not going to go exactly the same place. Correct. So it could be that we're looking at like you know maybe one was like way over there and then one was like way over there. Yes. 
it's also possible that all of this could have been covered in like one period of time. Oh yeah, I think some of some of the biggest Missoula floods coming down over Dry Falls. It's heading here, and I think we're we're not above the water here. The water's up above us here, and obviously, that's why we lost so many of these columns. Look, we're on top of these freaking columns, and at our level, that would have gone all the way across to the other side. What? How many? Ten thousand columns? More? Probably a million or more, man. I guess. I mean, how many do you have in a, well, maybe not a square foot, but like five square feet you might have. Yeah. I'm really, really thinking about trying to get into grad school in Hawaii. Like, yeah, sounds I mean, delightful. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Totally. Yeah. I want to go to Norway just so I can study some quickly. Because they have one of the most active, like, <laughs> well, no, my family's from Hell, Norway. Yeah, they have a farm. It's also like there's 500 feet of water above us. So. I mean, that got out of hand really quick. I mean, you killed a guy. Probably hit over something.